Chet Lakeland High School is in jail behind bars tonight, accused of molesting a 16-year-old boy. Jarvis Young faces several charges, including sexual battery. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer reports from the Polk County Sheriff's Office where investigators fear that more victims may be out there. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says a track coach at Lakeland High School groomed a 16-year-old student and then took advantage of him. What's more, the sheriff says this is a man who proved more than a decade ago that he couldn't be trusted around kids. This is Jarvis Young's mugshot from 2011. He was accused of conspiracy to commit sexual battery on a juvenile, a charge that was dropped. Investigators say the statute of limitations had run out at the time. Young has a new mugshot now, and the charges are similar. He got away with this before, and he wasn't smart enough to quit because he's addicted to having sex or trying to have sex with teenage boys. Somehow, Young was a track coach at Lakeland High School. Sheriff Judd says on August 26th, a 16-year-old student athlete asked Young to help him get faster and stronger. Investigators say Young brought the teenager workout equipment and then took him to lunch. Now understand, he told the kid I'm a trained massage therapist. He buys him lunch and he also gives him equipment. We call that grooming. According to the sheriff, the 40-year-old coach offered to massage the athlete's sore hamstrings. We're told that's when Young molested the teenager. He's a classic predator, child predator. He's a classic pedophile. Judd says something else made this situation even worse. He tried to and briefly had sex with a child knowing he was HIV positive. And not disclosing that fact is a third degree felony. The sheriff says Young never should have been around kids and now it's up to the Polk School superintendent to figure out why he was. He's doing a deep dive into all of this saying why was this guy around the students and what was the history and what did we know and when did we know it. We've reached out to the district and we're waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, investigators believe there may be other victims. If so, they're urging those people to come forward. In Polk County, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.